if you guys want to use code foxy at gfield.com it's 30 percent off until the 28th of june yo did you guys see the map of 2021 showcase or the panel or whatever <laughs> what i tell you i'm so hyped for fall 2021 and winter 2022 anime dude chainsaw man attack on titan part two or final season part two which we also got like a key art for or like a teaser art for and it's volume 30. i'm super hyped we're probably gonna, like i mean i'm not gonna really talk about it but i watched the chainsaw man trailer ah that, that looks fire bro like let me know down in the comments if you guys do watch anime and if you guys are super hyped for chainsaw man and attack on titan season well, season four part two i guess today i was bored and I, I don't really know what to record like i said in the other videos the other day i don't really know what to record so i got dark matter on the mg82 i'll showcase for you guys today and i like like i said i don't really know like what i'm doing so i might use the striker or whatever that shotgun's called in this game i might use that for a day and try and get dark matter on it uh let me know if you guys want me to do that i'm sure i'll get some type of reaction out of it so hopefully you know i can use it for a day i started using this aim trainer too so maybe like i'll do like a video of like this is like the aftermath of me using an aim trainer for a day i don't really know let's, let's hop in and i'll show you guys the mg82 dark matter ultra thing because I'm, I'm like a week like a week late on it but you know it's okay let's go bro it's okay anyway it's like i haven't read the chainsaw man manga to be honest i've only seen like bits and pieces of it like eric has told me about it a lot and i knew it was coming out for fall 2021 at least for anime and all that stuff but it looks like mappa decided to go the uncensored route with this which is the best in my opinion because i've seen some panels of it and it definitely looks like it's gotta be uncensored the anime is called chainsaw man you can't have an anime called chainsaw man and literally go censored you know it, it, it would just be weird to me with certain things like with attack on titan you can censor it and things like that and that's what i've heard from the manga like they, they definitely censored some things but when your anime is called chainsaw man you, you just can't censor it bro that's like disney and marvel going ahead and uh, making blade pg-13 i'm oh wait that's right they're doing that which is stupid in my opinion blade should be rated r if in if you guys saw the original blade from back in the 90s you guys will know that that was rated r and uh, kevin feige's like oh no it's gonna be pg-13 you're gonna like it. it's like bro like, what is wrong with you <laughs> i'm super excited for chainsaw man the the fall 2021 Double lineup kill. for anime seems to be really Triple good kill. i'm pretty sure there's a potential of 86 i guess the second season or core 2 demon slayer then chainsaw man i know that attack on titan is winter 2022 but when they say winter 2022 that also might mean that it's in december so technically we could possibly we could get the ending or the end of season two with demon slayer attack on titan season four part two chainsaw man the like i guess the ending of season one of chainsaw man the ending of the second season or second core of 86 all at once but that's only if attack on titan releases the second part of the last season at like december like they did with part one which i really hope they do i hope they don't wait till like january but then again like a part of me is kind of like i hope they wait till january so that way they don't really have any off days i mean like that that sounds awful obviously i want them to have off days and things like that but what i mean by that is so this past winter for attack on titan the anime took like a week or so break or i guess a week or two break when christmas and new year's hit which is fine they deserve their rest definitely and i saw the director or it was either the director or the producer of attack on titan i saw the bags under his eyes dude at the mappa um at the mappa showcase and i was just like dude like this guy needs some rest the bags under his eyes are so crazy i really felt sorry for him and everyone that that really bitched and complained about this past season and went and threatened the staff and stuff like that was just insane and when you look at the and when you look at him and see the bags under his eyes and stuff like that it's just like bro like how can people say that they're like threatening someone like that when they're trying their hardest and you can obviously see the effort that they put in and you can see the toll it takes on their body it's just bro it's ridiculous but anyways that, that was a little bit of a tangent but um but uh but yeah like i'm super excited and then i don't think there was any jujutsu kaisen news i thought there was gonna be i guess there wasn't maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments i didn't see anything so maybe i'm just not reading it i didn't really stay up for the whole event did you guys see that fight last night with tank dude that was crazy and i saw that floyd mayweather was there and it's just super crazy how apparently tank was down in the fight and the, and the judges had him down by like a point and as soon as he heard that he went and just delivered a tko i was just like bro like what what is that and he's from baltimore as well 
So that's super cool. There was an earthquake the other day in Maryland. I tweeted it out. If you guys follow me on Twitter, and if you don't, you guys definitely should, because, you know, I kind of updates with, like, all the videos that come out and things like that over there. I put out a tweet, and I was like, yo, did anyone in Maryland feel that? Because there was, like, a mini earthquake. And Maryland earthquakes are kind of weird because part of the state feels it, and then the other part of the state doesn't. Like I've said before, you know, I live in Baltimore, so there's a bunch of people in my area that felt it, but then there was other people that were, you know, 30, 35 minutes away from me, and they didn't feel it at all, which I think is, like, super weird. Because when you think of earthquakes, you think of, like, everyone feeling it, but the fact that, like, nobody felt it is, like, kind of odd. But yes, yeah, so that happened the other day. And I remember the last earthquake that we had, it was, uh, I don't know, it, it had to have been probably, probably like 10 years ago, I think. I remember exactly where I was. I was just sitting on my bed. I'm pretty sure I was getting ready for like football practice or something like that. I was like sitting on my bed getting ready. I just felt my entire room shake and it was just, it was nuts. I, you know, I was sitting down here the other day when the earthquake came through and I was just like, dude, like what, what, what the hell was that? We don't really get a lot of those over here. The most we really get over here in, I guess, in Maryland is the hurricanes let me know if you guys want me to do that video on the striker or like unlocking dark matter on the striker and whatnot it just gives me something to do like i said i'm i just don't know what to do and i don't know really what to record i just want you guys to keep me going as far as tell me what you guys want me to do or whatever as far as far as call of duty goes um what games you guys want me to play all that stuff i want to do a black ops 3 video when uh with the halo mod speaking of halo if you guys haven't go follow my halo channel we're probably gonna put a video out on that tomorrow kind of want to talk about some skill-based matchmaking because i found out some information uh for halo infinite about stat tracking and that kind of worries me considering that um we all know what uh, the stat tracking call of duty does for skill-based matchmaking kind of talk about that because i haven't really seen anyone talk about that in the halo community so but uh yeah thanks so much for watching guys really do appreciate you and if you guys don't mind dropping a like and subscribing we're almost at 125,000 subscribers greatly appreciated and yeah thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys later goodbye